Hey guys, it's me Talha. In this video, we will be rendering this project that we modeled in the previous video in Enscape. Let's get started. So here I have this project file open and first I'm going to fix the corners of this building which I forgot to do in the previous video. So to fix the corner mullions, we'll first select the curtain wall, then right click this little dot and select disallow join. Then simply drag these two walls to perfectly align uh, these corners. Let's quickly repeat that with the other walls as well. Here I'm just creating the sidewalk and road using the floor. To create a curve, I use the slab edge option. We'll first create a new profile family with the same height as the sidewalk. Then we can load this family into our project and use the slab edge option from this drop down. And select the edge of the floor where we want to create curve. And this is the easiest way to create curves in Revit, in my opinion. Now that we have done this, I will go ahead and set up the camera view in Enscape. And now let's edit the materials in Enscape Material Editor. For that, first we will split these two windows. I will be using materials from the Enscape Material Library. If you want to watch an in-depth video about using the Enscape Material Editor, you can check out the link in the description. I have a video on my channel about how to use the Enscape Material Editor.
to create a wet surface in Enscape, we can simply add this texture to the reflection. There we go. We have got this cool looking wet asphalt here. Let's quickly edit the other textures as well. Here I'm just adding model text to the signage. Here I'm adding assets. I will use all the assets from the Enscape asset library. And I will skip this part to save your time. So I have finished adding the assets to the scene. Now let's create road markings. For that, I will be using the parking space family, which you can find in the site families folder. Let's add a couple of these here. To remove the parking layout lines, we will edit the family. Select the layout lines and add a visibility parameter to these lines so that we can hide them in our project when we use them to create road markings. Anyway, let's load this family back into our project and then go to the properties and you will find the visibility parameter here and there we go let's select these two and create an array then we can just select all of these lines and mirror them on the other side Now to create a solid line, we need to check the size of the road first. Then just duplicate this parking space family and put the same size in here. There we go. We've got this huge solid line that we can place here. Of course you can change the color of these road markings in the material browser just search for parking and here we have this parking material now i will resume the enscape and i think we are ready for the enscape render settings so let's open up the visual settings And as usual, I will be using an HDRI for the lighting and to use the lighting from HDRI, we need to keep this box checked. Let's change the rotation and to get the overcast effect here, we need to increase the brightness and it's looking a lot better now. In the main tab, we will first add outlines and increase the exposure a little bit. reduce shadows so that uh, the scene won't look too dark and then let's remove all the effects here 
in the atmosphere tab let's remove fog and reduce sun brightness so that we can get a perfect overcast sky here now i'm going to remove the shadow sharpness and increase the artificial light brightness a little bit and now i think we are ready to export the rendering before that i'm just going to increase the rendering quality to ultra export quality to ultra hd and change the file format to jpeg and then i will just press ctrl plus one to export the rendering and there you have it we have created this cool looking exterior rendering in just minutes in Enscape. For more Enscape tutorials, make sure to check out the Enscape tutorials playlist on my channel. And that's all I have for you guys today. That's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.